Good evening, and welcome to the 1999 International Aerospace Hall of Fame Investiture. I'm Dick Dietz, Chairman of the San Diego Aerospace Museum's Investiture and Awards Committee. Tonight, our committee has put together a program which is slightly different from previous investitures, one which we think will both delight and excite you. To keep this dynamic program moving, an experienced master of ceremonies is needed. Tonight, I am pleased and honored to turn over the podium to one of San Diego's most well-known media personalities, Mr. Fred Lewis. We're gathered here to honor and to invest into the International Aerospace Hall of Fame three greats of aviation. Louise Faden, American pioneer aviator and air race pilot, Oleg Konstantinovich Antonov, Ukrainian aircraft designer and manufacturer, and Charles H. Kaman, American rotary wing aircraft designer and manufacturer. They've been chosen this year for induction into the Hall of Fame by our International Board of Electors. I would like to call your attention to the portraits of our honorees displayed here on the stage. After tonight's ceremonies, these paintings will be placed on permanent exhibit in the museum's International Aerospace Hall of Fame. We're fortunate to have in attendance tonight one of the two artists who have painted these striking portraits. From Seattle, Washington, please welcome the artist who painted the portrait of Louise Thaden, Mr. Jim Dietz. Regrettably, the artist who painted both the portraits of Oleg Antonov and Charles Kaman, Mr. Craig Kodera, cannot be with us tonight. His other job is flying for American Airlines, and his schedule has him on the flight deck of a McDonnell Douglas MD-80 instead of here with us. Our next honoree is Oleg Konstantinovich Antonov, Ukrainian aircraft designer and manufacturer. I would like to direct your attention to the screens where you'll view scenes from Oleg Antonov's remarkable life. Oleg Konstantinovich Antonov. Prolific aircraft designer and manufacturer began with building gliders while still a teenager and eventually created a long series of transport airplanes that mastered the harsh weather conditions across the expansive country of the Soviet Union. Antonov was born February 7, 1906 near Moscow, Russia. He was inspired as a child by the story of Louis Blériot's flight across the English Channel and decided that he would make flying his life's work. His grandmother supported his dream and gave him a rubber-powered model airplane, which he used as a pattern for an airplane of his own design. In his early teens, he and other boys his age formed a society of aviation fans and produced their own handwritten magazine. By the age of 18, Antonov had designed his first glider. He designed several more gliders during his college years at Leningrad Polytechnic Institute and was very active in a number of aviation organizations. Upon graduation in 1930, Antonov was directed to the Central Design Bureau for gliders in Moscow. He supervised the production of 2,000 gliders per year that were produced for flying schools. As World War II approached, Antonov was invited to join the Yakovlev Design Bureau as lead engineer. While at Yakovlev, he worked on training aircraft, transport gliders, and improvements to widely used Yak series fighters. Throughout the war, he would dream of producing aircraft for peaceful purposes. At war's end, he was authorized to establish his own design bureau at Novosibirsk, where he produced an agricultural airplane. The rugged single-engine AN-2 biplane, completed in August 1947, became one of the most versatile and enduring general-purpose aircraft in the world. It earned an outstanding reputation for dependability in adverse weather conditions. In 1952, Antonov moved his design bureau to Kiev in the Ukraine and began work on larger multi-engine turboprop aircraft. His first design, a twin-engine AN-8, flew well, but was too small for the air transportation requirements of the Soviet Union. When Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev visited the Design Bureau in 1955, 
Antonov suggested to him that a versatile four-engine turboprop aircraft could be efficiently designed for both passenger and cargo use. The concept was approved, and the resulting AN-10 and AN-12 served both the Aeroflot and Soviet Air Force for many years. The AN-12 would become the primary airborne troop delivery aircraft of the Soviet Army and earned Antonov's design team the coveted Lenin Prize. Over the next several years, Antonov produced a number of successful transport aircraft powered by turboprop engines in which a jet engine is used to drive the propeller. These aircraft ranged in size from the 17-passenger AN-28 to the huge AN-22, the largest aircraft in the world at that time. The AN-22 was a sensation when it was introduced at the 1965 Paris Air Show. Each of its four powerful jet engines drove two mechanically coupled four-bladed propellers that were over 20 feet in diameter. It could carry 80 tons of cargo or 720 men. The aircraft set several payload-to-height records in 1966. The highly successful aircraft earned Antonov and his design team another Lenin Prize. In addition to his engineering skills, Antonov was himself an accomplished artist. He enjoyed poetry, ballet, and art. He believed it was important for a designer to be culturally educated. With the design of the turbofan-powered AN-124, the world's largest production aircraft, Antonov introduced many new concepts, including the first supercritical swept wing on this type plane and a wide application of composite materials. This highly successful airplane first flew in 1982 and was a fitting crown to Oleg Antonov's brilliant career. In all, his design set over 350 world records for aircraft performance. He died on March 4th, 1984. For his innovative designs of numerous successful transport multi-engine aircraft, which excelled in the harsh weather and difficult conditions in his homeland, we honor him now and invest Oleg Konstantinovich Antonov with membership in the International Aerospace Hall of Fame of the San Diego Aerospace Museum, April 17, 1999. A remarkable, cultured, brilliant man. Accepting the award for Oleg Antonov is his daughter, Mrs. Anna Antonova, and his granddaughter, Mrs. Izolivita Antonova. They have flown nearly halfway around the world from Kiev, Ukraine, to re represent the Antonov family and the Antonov company. Anna and Elizaveta, would you please join Mr. Whitter at the presentation podium. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the national anthem of Ukraine in honor of Oleg Antonov.
please be seated. Mrs. Anna Antonov, Antonova and Elizaveta Antonova, it is my honor to present you with these awards on behalf of your father commemorating this special evening. Would you please say a few words on behalf of the Antonov family and the company? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in behalf of Antonov Design Bureau and its head, Mr. Pyotr Balabuev, and the whole Antonov family, and especially of his children, I express with greatest pleasure our sincere gratitude to the San Diego Aerospace Museum. It's a special honor to be selected to the International Aerospace Hall of Fame. Oleg Antonov is famous in the world of the aviation as a designer of gliders and aircrafts from small Antonov II to uh, huge Antonov uh, 124 Ruslan. It often happened that one being gifted in one sphere is also gifted in others. So my father was fond of painting and uh, painted landscapes and still lives. Mm. He was deeply interested in economics. He wrote books on the history of aviation. And even he wrote stories, fairy, fairy tales, for his children and his granddaughter. But the aviation was the real passion of him. He always said that he became an aircraft designer beca because he wanted to fly. And we are very proud that the role of Oleg Antonov is in the world of aviation is so highly appreciated here. In this regard, uh, we would like to present a model of Ruslan to the Airspace, uh, Airspace Museum. But <laughs> I should say this model is flying because it covers more than uh, 20 hours in an air, it was, <laughs> it spent. <laughs> <laughs> With me and my daughter. <laughs> On our way to San Diego. <laughs> Thank you. Antonova, thank you very much on behalf of the San Diego Aerospace Museum and its International Aerospace Hall of Fame. This model will be displayed in the Hall of Fame near the portrait of your father and grandfather. Thank you very much. They're very charming Ukrainian women and I hope all of you will have a chance to say hello to them before the evening is over, you will be charmed by them as we were. Thank you very much, representatives of the Antonov family, Anna and Elizaveta. 